another simple patina technique is taking your brush and just kind of doing like a really quick dry brush technique, just kind of going over it, I'm just covering this entire surface. And I like to use a paper towel then to wipe some away as I go. So I'll need a little bit more of our verdigris color. Hot. And again, I'm just kind of brushing on and wiping with my paper towel to see some of that brass shine through. And our patinas are blendable, so if you want to create your own color, you could do so by taking multiple colors and blending them together. So I just wanted this verdigree color and you could see how some of that brass is coming through just by me using the paper towel as we move along. And if you um, wanted to remove a little bit more of it, you would simply use the reliefing black and just sand some after applying. And then they'll remove more and then you could always go back over if you took too much off. That same goes for this Bohemian teardrop going to apply my patina and use my paper towel to wipe from the raised areas there. So it'll sit down in all those impressions pretty well. But it's as easy as that. So yeah, definitely try um, creating beautiful layered pieces with some of our natural metals and then a layer with patina just to make your designs stand out and pop and try a variety of the colors. There we go. And here you can see that some of um, the beautiful Swarovski crystals suspending from that. This piece already comes with those holes drilled in it, so there's no need to add holes to that. And then this piece has that loop in the center and that's where I hung a beautiful topaz crystal and suspended a bead. But hopefully these projects inspire you. Definitely check out our blog for the India Color Story for close-ups and more inspiration. See you soon.